I'm about to make a latte right now. Uh, let me see. So I got this that I've been really loving, this white chocolate flavored uh, pure made sauce. It is pretty yummy. I love white chocolate. And so I'm gonna make me a coffee right now and I'll show you how it works in case you haven't seen how the Nespresso's work or in case you're interested in getting one. Oh, God dang it. Okay, so I clean my frother obviously right after I use it every single time. And that's how it starts brewing. I usually like using a glass mug, uh, one of my favorite mugs, but it's dirty and I don't feel like washing it right now, so this is what we're gonna do. While it's doing that, I'm gonna go get the frother. Okay, on the frother, you can put as much as you want as your heart desires. I used half and half and this Bailey's vanilla creamer. Um, I just wanted to try the Bailey's. It's pretty decent. Um, know, it's just creamer. And then you turn on the frother, the frother starts doing its thing. Uh, this pretty much is filled to the top and it does have that espresso foam in it, uh, so I like to kind of shake it up. I like to break it up a bit before I put in the, the creamer. But this type of coffee is so amazing. It just tastes so good. So, and they're super strong. So I am trying new as new capsules today. Uh, the ones that I had were a vanilla type of capsule. This is the Audacio. Um, so it's supposed to be, the strength is seven. It goes all the way to 11. I don't think I'm at that point where I could go that far, that far up. Uh, and then I, I just ordered like a Variety pack and then I got the Mel Melozio. And this is supposed to be also in that six to seven range. That's kind of where I live between six and seven. This one's an eight. Oh, so this one's going to be a little bit. So it's called Stormio. Shit, I guess the name tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> but right now I'm still eating, or I'm still finishing the vanilla one. Okay, frothing is up. I really want to learn how to do like that cool design, like the cool coffee art stuff all right so then after you add your creamer then I like to stir it up some more oh wow let's try this oh my god Yes. Mm. This is the first time that I tried the half and half with the Baileys. I was mostly doing Baileys. And up until recently, so when fall first, when I first got the, uh, the Nespresso, I was really into this um, pumpkin spice. And I still am, but because it's not Thanksgiving anymore, I'm gravitating more towards just the old school vanilla creamer which is probably like what I fancy the most and um yeah but this combination here is actually pretty bomb half and half and vanilla creamer not bad mm. because I feel like when I was using the vanilla creamer it, it was coming out super super sweet rambling on all right I'll check in with you guys in a little bit for breakfast I'm actually probably gonna just have a banana like a peanut butter sandwich banana how what would you call those peanut butter banana sandwich i don't know i'm just not in the mood for cooking like I, and i don't have that much time i guess i could show you when i'm done with it what up i am on my first break it's 12 48 i'm about to have just some chips and salsa because i'm really not hungry and i gotta feed a buddy and i think he might be getting sick or something he's been he has like a cough, which is super weird because I don't think I've ever heard him coughing. Um, 
I don't know, but I'm trying not to get stressed out. He does have an appointment with his vet coming up in the next two weeks. We'll check up on him. Oh, remember when I told you that I'm a stain queen? I wasn't lying. And I'm just giving him his blue delight roasted turkey uh, wet food because that's what he likes. We'll mix it in with his dry food. Wet, dry. He's super bougie. Like, I don't know who he thinks he is, but I guess he's a spoiled little brat, even though he doesn't deserve it. Like, he's been so bad lately with, like, going potty in the house. So right now, I'm trying to break him out of that freaking horrible habit. So um, last night, like, he normally sleeps with me, but last night I didn't let him sleep with me just because he needs to learn to, one, sleep in his own bed. He can't sleep with me forever. Um, and also because it, I'm just trying to let him know that if he's gonna act crazy in my house, then he's gonna sleep on his own. So right now the little scrub is in trouble. So I have this little gate here for him so he doesn't escape. So he doesn't poop and pee anywhere and he needs to let me know when he's gonna go. Here you go, buddy. You hungry? You ready to put some food? Come here, buddy. Come here, baby. Come here, Baba. Come here, Baba. Oh, look, you got some lunch. You wanna eat? Are you mad? Well, I don't care if you're mad because you're in trouble, so. Don't do the crime if you can not do the time, sucker. This is my one part of the house that I don't show to anybody because this is where I have like my storage stuff and I need to figure out, I need to like get that out of the way because it's driving me crazy. Oh, I think he was hungry. But he's such a jerk. Like he's had the dry food there for, since this morning and he wouldn't eat it. And he's, I guess, eating now because he's a brat and he's got the soft food. So he's got a little heater here right in front of his bed. That's the door that leads outside. So it's a lot easier for me to just take him out like every time I get a break or whenever I hear that he's, you know, kind of fussing. But this is what I have to do and I hate it because I love having him in here with me. Um, but he's not going to get that privilege right now because he's been really bad lately. And I don't even notice, like I've actually found shit all over my house, especially in the living room area. And if you have any pets or dogs in specific... This right here, I got it from Costco and it's amazing. Um, and obviously you have to also disinfect, but yeah, he's he's been bad. So he just needs to figure his stuff out. So, oh yeah, so this is my little office. Um, right now I'm collecting a whole bunch of boxes because this is all the Christmas stuff that's gonna get wrapped. This is my room, which is so not ready for to be shown yet. <laughs> Um, at least I kind of made my bed this morning. These are the chips that I'm eating. I got them from Costco. They are a gluten-free uh, quinoa. I think they're made of quinoa. Oh, baked in flax seeds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, and quinoa. They're freaking delish. I added some tapatillo along with a salsa. It's a chunky salsa that I also got from Costco. Let me see if I can just show you now. this guy it's pretty good my sister recommended it i would say it's a fair eight it's a good eight if you add tapatio to it it tastes much better hello it is 2 30 it's my lunch time i'm not feeling very hungry because i had chips and salsa for a snack about i don't know an hour and a half ago not really sure uh maybe two hours ago but anyway um, I still haven't wrapped my nephew's gift, so I'm probably going to wrap the gift, watch a little bit more Love Island, and probably have some fruit. Or maybe I'll have some of the leftover food from yesterday. I did cook up a whole bunch of food during lunch. God, I look horrible. I'm actually going to do my makeup. Yeah, I'm going to do my makeup, so maybe I'll film that. 
a little bit. All right, bye. Change girl, right, with the makeup. So I just did my makeup. I used my lip combo. I'm loving. And I it's the Morphe Bite Me and the Kylie Jenner Cosmetic Lipstick. Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the color Commando. I actually just got the Kylie Jenner one and it's because Ulta had a sale. I'm not like... I'm not, I'm not really into her products, but that one was pretty good. For setting pal setting spray, I use the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I don't know why I did that, because I use the Infallible Pro Matte. I use the shade 108. I feel like it was a great shade for me. And then I got the Infallible Full Wear Concealer, and this is in the shade Cashew, number 365. I'm also wearing Morphe's Bronzer in the shade Big Shots. This guy right here, beautiful color. Setting powder under the eye, I'm using the Fit Me. For eyeshadow, I really didn't use eyeshadow. Well, I mean, I did, but it's just, I combined these two right here. And this is from the Heat palette for Kim K. <sighs> Mascara, I wore the Essence, uh, the Lash Princess, the False Lash Effect Mascara. And, uh, oh, I, I added <clears throat> this to the Infallible, just a couple drops. And I just feel like, I really like how the combination turned out, so. And then I have to add some dry shampoo because my hair is, you know, not clean today. I washed it yesterday. So this is two day old hair. I gotta go back to work shortly. I still haven't wrapped the gift, so I better get to it now. Mm. She cleans up nice. All right, it is 6.20. Buddy and I are super late. We're supposed to go to my sister's and celebrate my nephew's birthday. I was able to wrap his gift, one of them, uh, and then I'm just not gonna wrap the other one. And we are headed out. Let me give you some outfit deets. Okay, so in the winter, fall time, I stay looking bummy. I don't care, because I'm just going to my sister's and it's all good. Ready, buddy? Ready, my babies? Let go, my babies. Let's go. Let's go. You want to say hi to our friends? I love you so much. Such a jerk. So I just got back from my sister's house. Uh, I was super late. I missed a happy birthday song and the cake and the whole works, but at least I was able to show up and give him a gift and eat a little bit of food with my sister and family. It is nine o'clock now. Got to work at a little after seven. Um, I'm actually going to paint my nails, so I'm probably going to record that for you guys and show you what color I picked. Um, well, I have a white claw. I picked up a six pack because I need a nightcap tonight. Like I had such a long kind of crappy day at work and I just need one or two, probably two, I'm not going to lie to you guys, um, to just kind of mellow me out. Um, so, and I put my little doggy gate there because I don't want Buddy to get out and poop all over my living room because he's been pooping lately. I think he might have had diarrhea though, so. So right now I'm going to do my nails right here on my bed. Um, I got a towel. I normally do them in the living room or in the bathroom or in my kitchen while I'm standing and doing stuff, but... Right now, I just want to chillax. I want to watch some TV in my room here and just kind of do me. I am going to use this winter berry color, which I loved last time I wore it. Uh, my nails are already prepped, so I'm going to go ahead and get this going. And I'm having, like, the worst luck with, like, these extra little skins. So I'm ordering some stuff on Amazon to kind of get that fixed. But anyways, yeah, let's do this thingy.
Okay, next thing, I've already done the base coat. I did two different lay, uh, two different, and then you just wanna be very careful because red is a hard, harsh color. This wine is a harsh color if you mess up to fix. Okay, so once you've done a light coat on all the nails, then I do one hand at a time simply because I just find it easier for me to maneuver that way. And then I'm going to do two more of the 90 seconds and then I'm going to do another coat and then two more of the 60 seconds. Sorry, two 60 seconds. Then I'm going to do another coat, coat and then I'm going to do two more 60 seconds and then I'm going to put the top gel. The next thing you're gonna need is, uh, once you're done, you're gonna need some alcohol because you're gonna wanna put it on your nails because that's the way that gel really dries. And <clears throat> you're gonna use alcohol, uh, what do you call those, cotton balls, or you can use these, uh, these are not cotton balls, but they're cut and rounds. I think these have less fuzzies on them, so it's better on your nails. For the final coat, when you use the, uh, top coat, I like to do the 60 seconds three times for the final coat. Every other one, I do just two. Okay, so hand number one down. We was about to do hand number two. I'm not a salon, so it's not perfect, but I dig it, okay? Okay, the last thing I'm gonna put on is this uh, cuticle oil. It's a revitalizing oil with milk and honey. Um, my hands are just super, super dry right now, and my cuticles are just acting out. They're, like, peeling. It's kind of gross. So they just need, they just need some love. So I'm finna do that. Then I'm gonna rub it. Let my fingers, let my cuticles soak in in this little oil. And that, my friends, is all I do for my nails. I mean, each hand probably takes me two, four, six, seven. Like, I probably spend, honestly, a good 10 minutes per hand after it's all said and done. So doing my nails is not as quick as just like polishing and then boom, you're done. But I feel like when you're doing the gel, it just gives you more days. I feel like when you don't do gel, your nails are chipping within like half an hour or something. Um, and I really love this berry color, Winterberry, and it's by D&D. &D. Uh, I just went on their website to order this stuff. And I've been, like, slowly collecting things from Amazon. Like, I got this cuticle oil, and then I got the UV light, and then I got the, all these different nail polishes, and, you know, the uh, filers and all that. And so it just... It takes a minute, you know what I mean? It does, it, it gets a little expensive, but in time, in due time, it does pay off. Simply because I don't spend 50, I'm, I'm going in with this oil, like my nails are, my, my cuticles are so dry. Um, I simply just don't spend for your $50 every other week or every two, three weeks or once a month even. Like I just don't spend any money on my nails anymore. I am the only thing stuff that I still want to get continue to get done are pedicures simply because like it's so much harder to do your toes than when someone else does them. But anyways, yeah, I'm just going to let this soak in. I'm going to finish my white claw. Cheers if you're 21 and over. I'm going to watch some I'm Love Island. Have myself another little cocktail or another little seltzer and relax for the rest of the night thank you guys so much for watching my vlogmas day two. um this weekend i'm gonna be doing some shopping so i'll bring you guys along with me and thank you for all your love and support see you guys